All right, so in this one, we're gonna make this product page just look a little bit better. Um, it's gonna be pretty much the same as our home page, but it's just gonna look nicer than this. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and open up our products all, and we notice that there's this and also our products home. So let's just double click on home. I'm gonna copy all of home and go into products all. I'm gonna paste it underneath because I don't know actually what I'm gonna be copying exactly. I don't need this jQuery block. Uh, I will need the styles block head. We'll say products. Um, so this is gonna be like what's in the title up here and it'll say products and it's gonna extend base, which we already have up here so we can get rid of that. And now we just wanna change the block content. So if I scroll down a little bit, I can also get rid of Jumbotron 2 because we are not going to put the Jumbotron in there. Um, so we have products here. So I can actually get rid of all this. And even that block content. Save it. And if we do a little refresh in here, it's virtually the same page. So let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's put four, four let's put six items actually across here instead of three. So uh, to do that, it's remember it's 12 columns, so we put each box is going to be two wide, basically. Um, so the right here instead of four, so four would make three. We put it to two, and if I do a refresh, I now see that they come in a little tight, and that's because of the picture itself, and then the little description underneath it. Um, so the picture itself, let's actually change it back to one or down to 150. Uh, it's still a little tight, so let's actually change it maybe to 100. Oh, whoops. Changing the wrong spot here. Should be this right here. There we go. And we can probably get rid of this. There we go. All right, so we've got our pictures here now. Um, there are little, little, slight design issues with the image right here, but um, we could also scale it and change it and do all this other stuff. So, when you are working with something like this, you want to make sure that whatever you end up using for these pictures or the size of it, um, make sure that you make your picture as such. So, I'm actually going to put width of 100 pixels being back. Uh, that that squares everything out. So that has to do with all of the defaults we set in another video. Um, all right, so now we have these three, but we want this fourth one up here. And then also if there's a few others, we'd want the, that up there as well. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I want to change how my cycle loop is working here. So the four is after the third one. So one, two, and then the third one. So we actually need to have it after the sixth one so i just needed to add a few more in here so we already have two i'm going to just copy these paste it so now it's after the fifth one so we just need one more solo one and there we go so this all this all i did here was add extra quotes empty quotes so we can allow the lines to be uh the same all right and now notice the image itself is a little too big um, and that's because of the width that we set for it. So in our div style here uh, above our class, so image responsive, that's what this is doing here. We would actually need to change it to having a style, maximum style of, of that right there. But what I'm actually gonna do is I'm just gonna copy this. And instead of having the background image being that we can just leave it as a default that we already set. All right, refresh. There we go. So now it's closer to the right size. Uh, the text itself is not great, and but it will do for now. All right, so now if we had more products and stuff like that, it would show through. Uh, perhaps we don't want any text on the just general products thing, or we want to have just little bit of text or something like that. I'll let you play around with that um, later. So now that we have all that set up, uh, we are pretty much ready to go as far as our products go. 
Um, so again, if we had six more or a few more, it would show correctly. Uh, unfortunately, what we see here is, is some issues with scaling, um, and that will be the case on our homepage as well. That, and that's only because we made the image a very specific size. Um, so this is where, again, having uniform image sizes would just change all this. So if you had all of your images were the exact same size, um, you wouldn't have to worry about the CSS that we did uh, before. You would just use a normal image. All right, so that's it for updating the general product page. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, let's keep going.